on Tuesday, I saw a movie. It was Friday the 13th. Made by Michael Bay, who seems to be remaking tons, well not tons, just two, horror movies. And he seems to not be doing a good job at it. Uh, first year he made Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and it was shit. Then he remade Friday the 13th, which according to a commercial ad I saw, is the number one movie in America. Although, I don't think... I don't think it's horrible. I just don't like it. It's not as good as the original. First off, Jason is only 12, and he's not 8 feet tall. That's why he was a child that drowned in the lake. Second, they killed his mother at the beginning. Had one of the most horrible story intros ever. Not story, just story intros. And, uh, in the moment, the perfect for. And it continued off with the fact that he grows pot in his backyard. Seems to fit through holes a five-year-old would have trouble with. Without making a noise, he makes only one noise. And that's him pulling out his machete. Shink! That's the only thing he ever does. Uh, I don't know. There was way too much nudity. It went like boobs killing, boobs killing. There was a pattern. Uh, he just kept killing... Yeah, but that's what you expect. In the end, he died. But what what takes me off most about this movie was the fact that two people died, came back to life, and killed Jason in the later part of the movie, which doesn't make sense at all. I I don't get it. You clearly see him kill him, bash their head in. So why did uh? Uh, Michael Bay insists on bringing them back for the last half. Also, there was another character, you know, everybody smokes pot and everybody shacks up, except for the Asian and the black dude, which I'm convinced they're both gay and do it with each other, but that doesn't matter. Also, the black dude's convinced everyone's being racist to him, which I just didn't like. Uh, what, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, there was this one guy, Clay, right? He's looking for his sister, because he's a dumbass, which his sister was alive after. You know, she's one of the two that came back. And he came back, too. So I guess they have magical genes. Uh, it seemed he hit puberty halfway through the movie because his voice got inexplicably deeper. Like, really noticeable. Like, he went from, like, this to the this. It didn't make any sense. And, uh, they could have done without it. Another thing. If you own the game Rock Band, you can use the mic from that game Plug it into your computer and record sound with it. I thought this would be a nifty thing. No. Thank you. Good night.